Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're gonna to talk about tying section cuts to scenes. So this was actually a request from you guys. So we did a video a little while back talking about working scenes and that kind of thing, and you guys asked, several people actually asked, how do I set up scenes that will actively turn my section cuts on and off? So we're gonna look at doing exactly that right now. So I have a, a model here, it's so just a, a single, just a building, um, a little bit of ground around there. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a couple of scenes that are gonna activate or deactivate section cuts. So we're gonna have two section cuts, one going the long way of the building, one going the short way of the building, and then we'll create scenes to let us flip between them quickly and easily. So um, the first thing I'm gonna do before I even mess with scenes, I'm not even, you guys have no scenes in here, before I do anything with scenes, I wanna get my section cuts in first. So it's very important, I wanna make sure I go and get both of these drawn and then start working on my scene. So I'm gonna to go to section plane. I'm gonna put one here on this wall right here, it's aligned with the green axis. Uh, I'm gonna call that one. You can see I've been playing around this model so it's automatically advancing the, my section cut. But we're just gonna go section cut one, click okay. And I'm gonna use move, just drag that in there. I'm gonna to get to just in front of the stairs, like right there, perfect. That's my first one. That's the first uh, plane I wanna put on there or section cut, excuse me. All right, I'm gonna do a second one. I'm gonna go to tools, I'm gonna go to section plane again, and I'm gonna put this one on the front wall. Lines with the red axis, we'll call it section two. That's awesome. Go ahead and move it, pull that in here, and we get about up to the information desk. So right about, right about there. Perfect, that's what I want. So you can see when I drew that section, that second section cut, it deactivated the first. Only one can be active at the same time when they're both in the same context. It's just kind of the way that uh, that they work. And that's fine, that's gonna work just fine for what we're doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate this first one, the, the longer cut, and I'm gonna go to view, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we'll actually grab both of these and hide them. We don't need to see those. All right, so there we go. So that's the cut I wanna see. So I'm gonna come over to scenes, I'm gonna turn everything, everything off except for active section planes. And I'm gonna turn everything off like that, and I'm gonna hit save, or create, or new, plus, hit plus, and then create scene. All right, I'm gonna call that not scene one, but section one. And now I wanna turn on the other one, so I'm gonna go to view. This is my, I so I rarely, as I'm working here, I rarely ever, if ever at all, want to see my section planes, right? They're there, they serve a purpose, but I don't need to have those big floating planes. So I almost always turn them off. When I need to work with them, I come to view, I turn on hidden objects, I do what I need to do in this case, activate the other cut, and then I can go to view and toggle hidden objects back off, and now I'm back here. So that's the thing that I tend to do, that's how I tend to work with section planes. All right, so now let's go in here and we'll go, okay, again, with just active section planes turned on, let's go ahead and create a new one. Rename this from scene to section. All right, there we go. So now, because this is connected not to camera location, not to anything else, I can flip between these two with the click of a button and move from one section plane to the other. So that's a cool effect and everything, but uh, maybe as I'm working through here, I don't necessarily wanna wait for that transition to happen each time. I can turn that off easy enough by going to view animation, settings, and just disabling enable scene transitions. Then it's just gonna pop between the two. Boom, boom. So there you go, pretty simple, pretty easy to do, but let's take that just a step further. Let's create a third scene where all the section planes are turned off. So again, I'm gonna go to view, temporarily turn hidden objects. I'm gonna right click and turn off the active cut. Go Turn that back off again. And then we're gonna save a third scene. Again, with just active section planes turned on, and I'm gonna call that no sections. Go ahead and move that one up to the top. That makes sense like that. Okay, so no sections, boom, section one, boom, section two, back to no sections. And I can just hop between them as I need. And these these could be scenes that are, you know, for output, something like that. Because we didn't save the camera with them, they're really kind of more working scenes. So as I'm going through here, if there's, you know, if I wanted to work on the inside of the building, didn't want to turn a bunch of stuff off, I could work in this scene and actually come in here 
and mess with the desk, that kind of thing. Um, same thing here. Oh, I come in from a different side and work on this over here. So it's really has to do more with creating working scenes here as opposed to output scenes. Output scenes would be very similar, but they would probably have camera location and maybe some other visibility stuff turned on. Whereas this is just to turn that section around or turn it off. So there you go. As requested, tie in sections to scenes. Seems pretty simple because it is. Um, went by fast. That was, that was a quick one. You guys, I'm going to let you out early. You get a couple minutes back in your day here. This is great. Uh, I do want to thank all the people who asked for this because like I said, this was not a single request. We had two or three people come up and ask, can you do this? Can you add this? Uh, we'll love that. So if this triggers a thought for you, is there something else you're thinking of with sections or scenes or something like that? If so, let us know in the comments down below. Um, and if you haven't already, please do like this video. And if you didn't do that other thing, go ahead and subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, going back to that comment thing, leave us a comment down below. Uh, we come up with ideas of what we think we would like to show you guys, but nothing beats hearing from you what you think we should make. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.